Hey guys, tonight we're looking at the Whiskey 2.4 WTF Idea uh, Crack Compatible uh, Hydration Back Panel. Uh, there's a lot of interesting features rolled into this thing. It's very well done. Uh, I believe it's sub $100. It was sent to me, so I, I don't know the exact price. Uh, but it is an alternative to the roughly $200 cry panels uh, while giving you a lot of the same functionality um, and a lot of the functionality that I think most people care about uh, without some of the features like the breaching tool pocket that uh, a lot of folks don't necessarily need or want. So let's get it on the table and take a closer look at it. All right, so like I said in the intro, this is the Whiskey 2.4 uh, hydration back panel for cry carriers. Uh, so it's gonna be compatible with your, your AVS, your SPC, JPC2, uh, and then anything else on the market that's using cry pattern zippers. So some of the uh, Spitfire stuff, the Grey Ghost Carrier, all of those should interface well with this, uh, but it was specifically designed for cry. So as you attach it, some of the attachment methods may not play super well with other things, uh, and I'll show you those. So hopefully you can check out what you have and, and be more prepared. All right, uh, I do have this on a small uh, SPC with uh, eSAPI in there, and it fits just fine. I have no concerns that it would also fit a medium uh, without any issues. Um, so let me uh, kind of take this zipper off and I'll show you the mounting here. And uh, then we'll take it all the way off and show you some of the features here. So bear with me. Sometimes this gets a little, a little goofy when you got a plate in there. There we go. All right. So now when we look at the mounting here, you have a couple of different things that you can do. And depending on which... Uh, exact platform you're using, you may not need to use all of these features. All right, so uh, kind of one of the staples of the WTF back panels or some of the front panels for that matter is this kind of bottom flap here. So this will engage with the uh, plate pocket. So it'll wrap around uh, internal of the plate there and then secure into the plate bag itself, uh, which in all honesty is probably my favorite uh, bottom mounting of any of the panels that are out there. It's relatively drama free. You don't need to weave anything. You just have to access your plate pocket. So there's very few exceptions to where that would be an easier option than trying to weave things. All right. And then looking at the top here, you have these, uh, these kind of Velcro backed, uh, Powell's webbing or Molly webbing. However you want to look at that. Um, if you're just using this for uh, hydration, with the SPC specifically, because it's got the loop-backed molly here, it does engage fairly well uh, on its own. And it's going to pull off because, you know, I don't have the other zipper on there. But with the other zipper on there, it does engage fairly well. Uh, if you want it to be a little bit more secure, this is designed to be woven through uh, the molly and then kind of Velcro back on itself. So... The Velcro is really there because you don't have like a mouse clip or a snap closure on here. All right. Uh, looking at some of the features on here, I'll show you one and then we'll get the, the vest out of the way. There is a uh, zipper tab keeper on the bottom of these zippers, which is a very nice feature. Uh, if you're at all concerned about your zipper backing off, uh, which can happen, especially on the longer cry panels, if you store them and they're, they're pulling up like this, uh, because the panel's longer than the vest, sometimes that zipper will start to work its way loose. This one doesn't have an issue. It fits very flush, uh, which I know is a big deal to some people. So if you don't like the 2.0 panels, this, is, this might be a good option just because of that flush fit. And you don't have to pay collector's prices to get like a 1.0. All right, so get this zipper tab keeper out of here. All you do, it's a, a little bit of elastic, and you just tuck the tab in there, and the zipper can't back off. All right. uh, so I'll unzip this and get the, the vest out of the way and work through some of these features. All right, so uh, you do have a fairly generous Velcro field on the, the back face of this thing, or the front face, however you want to look at that, the exposed face. Uh, so you can still have ID placards and, and whatnot. Um, if you want to do kind of the, the, the CAG mod, you could have your Velcro mounted triple flashbang panel on there. That would work out just fine, uh, just like on the the, the cry pack panel. <clears throat> All right. 
Uh, you do have a good bit of shot cord routing uh, in case you want to stuff a, a cold weather layer or something in there. And that is very easily removable if you don't want to mess around with the potential snag hazard. All right, I know it looks pretty bad right now, uh, but if you were using that and you policed it up a little bit, I don't think you'd have huge issues with it. But again, you can pull it off as needed. Uh, there's a hardy grommet on the bottom of this thing, which I really appreciate on a, a hydration pocket, more so than probably anything else. I have had bladders burst and Cordura does have a little bit of uh, a water resistant uh, capability to it. So without a grommet, it will hold on to that water longer than you would like it to. Um, <clears throat> so with the grommet in there, if something happens to your bladder, hopefully it will purge itself from your carrier and you're not carrying around a bunch of water that you can't drink anyways. All right. Uh, zipper tabs are very nice zipper tabs. They're these uh, Hypalon tabs, so they're, they're silent. Uh, but they're they're easy to grab and then the zipper is a very smooth functioning zipper it's a little bit on the the smaller size as far as teeth go uh, but for this use it's it's plenty strong and it opens very nicely right. and then as you look inside here it is just a, a big voluminous pocket um, with a a keeper tab up here that will engage with uh, most bladders out there. Uh, if it doesn't, you can you can very easily work some some paracord solution here to help tie your bladder up to the top of the pocket. All right. It does not, however, have uh, cord routing or or bladder routing, tube routing, if you will. Uh, so you're going to need to uh, bring your zippers kind of up to the top and then kind of meet where you want the the tube to come out of there not a huge deal uh at all and maybe let's see here oh look at that i missed this earlier and then i caught it as i was trying to show you guys so you can also route the the tube through this pass through here let's see if i can access that from inside um, so right here is where the access is inside and then that'll pass through up there all right so my apologies on that you can, you can run the bladder out through there, and then you've got these uh, one-wrap loops here to help retain your tube. All right, <clears throat> that was that's very well hidden, actually. Uh, you may need to take the bite valve off to get that through there, um, but it's actually more generous than it looks, so it could potentially pass through there. I would say this is uh, fairly comfortable for a two-liter bladder. I wouldn't want to push a three-liter, or three-liter, excuse me, unless it's one of the wide ones, and then you just uh, have a little bit less capacity used. That should fit in here just fine. But the long boy three liter bladders, I wouldn't mess around with in here. They'll get folded and you'll kink your, your flow of water. All right, uh, already showed you the back. Uh, you do have a couple of webbing loops up here. I'm not sure if you can mount this to one of his harnesses, uh, but you could absolutely use it to improvise something. Uh, you could tie off on stuff if you needed to. Uh, all told, though, it does mount very, very securely. Huge fan, like I said, of the bottom mounting. The top mounting is more than adequate, and it's a very nice, clean fit with the zippers. Uh, you don't have a lot of excess bulk. I don't know if you could push this to a large carrier, with, especially with ESAPIs and backers. Um, I don't have those to test, but I'm comfortable that it would fit on a medium uh, if that's what you were using. So there you go. That is the Whiskey 2.4 cry compatible hydration back panel solid budget option if you want to uh, get into zip off uh, panels you want a bladder on your your spc or jpc that's easy to remove uh, very nice very nice product uh, and extremely lightweight it's uh it's very well made thanks guys